This is Visionary New Earth Leaders Podcast, empowering visionary healers, entrepreneurs, and ex-corporates who are ready to actualize their fullest potential through expanding their consciousness and embodied leadership. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon Rainbow Anderson, New Earth Business Mentor, Channel, and Master Healer, leader of my own business with 20 plus years experience in energy work, mentorship, and coaching. I'm a married mother of two, based outside London in the UK. In Visionary New Earth Leaders, we are going to share about world-leading, cutting-edge tools of energy transformation, intuitive and soul-led business and marketing strategies, and innovative, groundbreaking thought leadership, paving the path into the new earth. So if you're ready to step into leadership, this is the Vortex supporting leaders and CEOs into the new earth. Hello and welcome back to Visionary New Earth Leaders podcast and today I'm so happy that you're here again my friend because we are going to be talking about intuition and how intuition actually helps us to enhance our creativity and bold action taking and you are going to love this because if every single person alive on this planet would use their intuition for guidance and following this inner compass and then take action on those nudges, this world would look very, very different. So let's dive in. What is intuition? Well, most of you will know what it means. It means that you are getting these intuitive nudges, a gut feeling, a sign that you can either feel in your body or you just kind of hear it maybe, or you sense it. It might be a tingling sensation. It might just be a strong pull in your heart chakra or in your sacral chakra. Something is happening basically. So your intuition is your sense, your heightened sense, which really comes from your higher self. So your higher self is residing in the high dimensions Uh, Let's say, so we are here in the third dimension, our higher self is above the fifth dimension and we all have a higher self. Some people are more connected to their higher self than others and there is no right or wrong. It's simply the connection that matters, right? So why do we want this super strong connection with our intuition and our higher self? Because your higher self has got the blueprint, the exact roadmap to your success, the exact order, even if it feels very non-linear, how you do things, it has exactly the roadmap to your ultimate success, to your ultimate fullest expression here on earth this lifetime. So I want to talk about, I'm going to give you some great action steps today, actually, and give you some good advice on how to start using your intuition to enhance your creativity and then to take action in your business so that you can get to these amazing successful outcomes that you're looking for. So the first thing is, let's dive in. I would like you to think about, I would like you to think about your energy or your persona, all of you, mind, body and and spirit as a full energetic alignment, like you are the vessel for your work, you are the portal for everything that is coming through you, you are this, uh, you know, manifestation of, of your soul here on earth. So how do we do this? I mean, I'm Many of you would know exactly what to do because you do meditation and alignment processes perhaps daily already. The first thing I would like you to do is to bring some mindful presence to your day. This is the very, very first step to activate that intuition, to activate that higher self. And it will be very simple things like deep breathing, Uh, sitting with yourself for five, ten minutes, silence. Uh, It could be a silent meditation or just a 
a stillness simply. It could be a guided meditation that you do for 20 minutes and then sit in stillness. What I'm feeling here is very much about creating space. Also ground yourself. If you feel in your head scatty, too much going on, pressure, it's all about bringing everything into the body. Ground yourself, bring your energy down into your root chakra, bring your energy down into your sacral chakra, bring it down into your feet. Really ground yourself and bring your presence into your body. And this is, you've heard me talk about embodied leadership, and really bring all of who you are into your body. And, it, and I couldn't press it enough because this is really the portal to, to your highest success. It's your body. Then another piece which I really would like recommend is to, if you haven't got a meditation practice, whether that is a guided meditation practice or a silent meditation practice, I very much recommend it. You can get started in many different ways. In my membership, Connect the Soul Club, we have about 40 meditations in there. And the members love them because they can just kind of push the button, go there and get these amazing uh, different topics, meditation at on tap. Um, but meditation, whether it's a guided meditation or a quiet meditation where you sit still on your own with no interruptions, whatever suits you, you know, it doesn't matter what, what's, what it is, as long as it suits you and it feels good to you. So I recommend both. I do both. I also do energy clearings. I use my own Ascension Clearing Kit, which is also inside the membership. Um, you can buy the Ascension Clearing Kit uh, as a separate program, but it's included in the membership and all my other, uh, other programs too. I really recommend this. This is kind of the first step. So if you are here, you're making good money already, you have sort of worked hard to where you get from where you are right now you really put down the groundwork if you haven't put in an energy or a meditation practice or fully um, uh, and burst yourself into this i really recommend that you start now because this is the time to really start expanding your your energy and your consciousness so with meditation i get all my downloads in meditation and sometimes in walking meditations and in the shower and when I'm hoovering, you know, I get this, these downloads, these creative ideas, they come through when I give myself this space. So to give yourself this space is crucial really for your next level of creation. The next thing I want you to think about is energy awareness. And this is something I recommend that you do every hour or every couple of hours and what does it look like so for example if I'm working in the office all day and I have let's say a couple of client sessions and I'm working on content or a master class or something like that every hour I just close my eyes and tune in what do I need do I need to go for a short walk do I need to have a short meditation do I need to clear my energy how is my body feeling um do I need to stretch? Do I need a break? Do I need a drink? Do I need something to eat? So it's like I'm checking in constantly. I'd say probably every hour, every two hours, depending on what I'm working on. And with this energy awareness, becomes you become so attuned to your needs and to what your body is asking for. And it really helps you to use the intuition as well, because like your intuitive nudges would lead you to say, hmm, what do I need right now? Huh, go for a walk. Okay, let's go for a walk. So you've got this intuitive nudge, go for a walk. You had a feeling, let's do it. And that's exactly what, how you're meant to be leading yourself throughout the day. Um, I never, ever push through the energy. So if my intuition and my heart and gut and my higher self, all the pieces are telling me, go for a walk, take a break, no morning. I always follow it, even if I'm on, on a deadline. 
because I know that following that piece is going to lead me to my absolute highest timeline and highest level of success because I'm following the energy and I'm following the awareness. The next thing is how do we actually um, amplify the creative intuition? So there's many ways how to connect with this next level that you are creating or the next level of program, or maybe you're creating um, you know, a new challenge or a new masterclass. Whatever it is you're creating is coming from your soul. You know, It's coming from your, your higher self as well. So the way I do it when often I get a download, but then I might want some more details. So I get the download, oh, do this. And then what I do is I sit with myself and I do a heart-centered meditation. So I just focus on my heart and I'm opening the heart chakra and I open it up really wide. So like I'm welcoming in the new ideas, the creative uh, flow, and I'm you know also paying attention to my emotions and the subtle sensations, and I'm basically saying, hey, universe, my, my heart is open to all creative ideas, and I also make sure my crown chakra is open because it's on top of my head. The thing is with me, because I am a channel, my crown is always open, <laughs> um, but in a good way, you know, I'm not having it open for unwanted things. Um, it's open, you know, always open. So, but I think maybe for some people, they don't feel like it's always open. So I, I really recommend that you open the heart, open the crown, and then like actually pull your energy down into root. This is another thing. I always say this, pull the energy down into root. So you are not residing only in your upper chakras because then everything is ungrounded. And then it's quite hard to ground it into the reality as well. So it's really important to do all those things. And then I sometimes I will then start journaling or I actually draw as well. Uh, and sometimes I go straight into Canva. So for example, I had the ideas of skyrocket your income to multiple six figures. So I was working on that. It came through the actual title and then I went into, not straight away, but I think the next day or so, uh, I was doing some alignment processes and then I went into Canva and I started to create graphically with what I felt the energy was. So I should probably say as well that I did graphic design in college in Sweden uh, when I was 18. So I do enjoy graphic design. So it feels natural to me to go into Canva and start creating templates, etc. And for those who don't, don't feel comfortable with that, maybe you are more comfortable with drawing something, uh, you know, freehand or sketching. But whatever suits. Some people like playing the, you know, the instrument and things like that as well. So this is about bypassing your create uh, your mind so that you plug in creativity. So you're not actually thinking. You kind of just channel. Uh, and for me, that really means when I go into Canva and start pulling the different backgrounds together, uh, the different colors, obviously I'm sticking to my brand colors, but you know, the variations of them, it will just start coming through and I create and it's like so fun. You know, I love it. I love it so much. So I really recommend that you have this, you take this exercise, open the heart, open the crown, pull your energy into the root, and then just lean into the creative piece of what you're creating. Um, that's just how it works for me. It's going to work differently for other people. I do recommend this to my clients as well, of course. Um, but whatever seems to be making you feel excited and lit up is actually what you're meant to be doing. The next thing is, this is a little bit out there, uh, maybe you're not using this, but I really try to interpret my dreams. So if I, sometimes I go to bed and I set the intention to receive the intuitive guidance related to my business. And sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't work. 
But I do this and it's like a dream exploration. So I keep a notebook next to my uh, bed. And if I can capture any dreams or insights when I wake up, I will just write them down. I am quite good at remembering. So when I get these downloads at night, I will then get up straight away, you know, make a note, um, store it somewhere, write it down. So I'm, I'm not forgetting what it is. That's kind of just an idea. You'd, you know, you don't have to do that, but it kind of works quite well. So the next thing is the action taking, right? So what, so what happens is it's like, it's not a linear process. It's almost like you get the download, you start becoming creative, then you want to start putting the offer out there or the next level, what you're creating. And you want this bold action taking with the right energy behind it. And what I do personally is I would get an idea, I go, okay, I'm going to run a workshop. And then I tuned in, hmm, should it be a masterclass or a workshop? And then the masterclass felt more expansive. I was like, right, I'm doing a masterclass. You could argue that they are very similar, but th that was what I was going with. And then I felt into my energy. So do I want to do like a three-day masterclass or do I want to do one? And I was like, no, I just want to do a one day or a 90 minutes masterclass um, that is going to be become an evergreen training eventually. I've done three day masterclasses and challenges before. And right now my energy felt like, no, I'm doing the one day or the, you know, the, the 90 minutes. Not to say I wouldn't do a three day or a five day another time. But at this time, it didn't feel aligned. It just didn't feel, didn't make me feel excited. It didn't make me feel, it just made me feel actually quite heavy and tired. So I thought, hmm, I've done this before. I've got loads of energy. So it's not about not me being able to do it. It's just not aligned. So I then sit on it a bit. And then I start writing out the ideas of the action masterclass and what I'm going to say and keep sort of plotting it down. Uh, and decide on, yeah, I'm going on the, you know, I'm going on what I feel. And then I basically decide and say, cat, right, I'm deciding, I'm doing the masterclass. Uh, okay, what date am I going to do it on? And then I say, okay, uh, what kind of people am I, well, that would be a part of it, you know, knowing who you're talking to, but obviously I'm talking to you, entrepreneurs and people who want to scale into multiple six figures. This was particular with this masterclass, Skyrocket Your Income. But basically, I'm listening in, I'm taking the ideas as they come, I write them down, I tune in deeply, drop out of my head completely and drop into my heart. And then I connect with my higher self, which is in the high dimensions, make sure I'm fully grounded and allow the the, the pieces to come through and then I take action and this is the thing right every time I have taken action on a specific download or a creative idea that has felt super aligned and super expansive and super lit up it always works it always works it's always always working the times when I have, for whatever reason, maybe not trusted myself, etc., followed what my head is telling me, or maybe I've been instructed by one of my past coaches, no fault, you know, no fault of theirs or anything, but just given an instruction on someone else to do something and not felt into if it feels aligned and then take an action on it, and then it's misaligned, and then it doesn't work. Okay, so this is, the, this is the important piece. I do not say here that we should not listen to our coaches and mentors. 100% we should listen to our coaches and mentors, and I do. When I work with some of well, my guides, mentors, the people that I have in my life and my world, I always listen, and I always tune in. So it's about taking the information, feeling excited about what it is you're putting out there, lighting it up, 
and then taking this bold action knowing it's going to work because if you had the same conviction in your heart as if you have the same conviction in your bold action taking as you had in your heart and your soul when you've had this download it's going to work it's always going to work so my advice here is that when we take bold steps and kind of it's like we are not thinking we're not thinking we're not feeling into the fear what if or what if it doesn't work things like that we just don't because when you follow your intuition and you're fully immersed in it those fears and doubts and imposter syndrome and all those things does not come in you're just so confident so how can we get to a level of such enhanced intuition and locked in confidence that we become absolutely unstoppable and become so, I wouldn't say resilient, I think resilience is good, but become so conditioned to following our dreams and our heart that nothing can stop us. And it feels so light, exciting and joyful and fun. And as more, as more, the more you do it, the more you, money you earn, the more clients are turning up, the more, the more, the more, the more, the more, the more. So this is the thing. We want to get to this space where we want to be so locked in on this heightened, enhanced intuition that nothing will make us doubt it nothing. So with that, I have an invitation for you in one of our programs that we are starting now in September. And you probably know about this program already because I've been talking about it a little bit. It is Light Up Your Inner CEO. This program is the absolute Rolls Royce of energy transformation programs. This is a program where you will 100% fully unlock your powerful, powerful channel and intuition. And it is permanent result. It's a permanent um, sort of alignment. So it's almost like an investment for life and for your, for, for business, for your business um, longevity forever. Why do we need our intuition in this way? This is just one of the things that's going to happen in the program. But I feel that intuition is the portal to your potential. It really is the portal to your absolute fullest potential because it's about you guiding yourself in a powerful, powerful way. And when you have that gift and when you have that so locked in, so, uh, you know, you're so sure nothing or no one can take this away from you. So I invite you to check in uh, on Light Up Your CEO. Light Up Your Inner CEO. Uh, we start officially, actually, on the 26th of September. I changed the dates slightly. Um, we have a welcome call, actually, on the 12th of September. Um, but anyone joining after the 12th, uh, would also be able to catch that welcome call. So the actual energy work with this program starts on the 26th of September. So when this episode is out, there is another month uh, for you to join us. But I would love for you to check it out uh, in the link below. And if you have any questions, because obviously this is a six-month commitment, uh, followed by another six month of mastermind sessions, but the actual energy work is six months. Um, you may have some questions and I'm, I'm so very much here for you to answer those questions and to speak to you about everything that's included. Um, obviously, we have the light body work in there, uh, clearing the subconscious blocks, uh, working with your shadows. We're doing the whole shebang. That's why it's a Rolls Royce program because it covers everything. So, yeah, I would love to have you there. And this is typically for, for those entrepreneurs who are here to stay you know you're here for the long run you have a mission here on earth you feel 
uh, lit up by your business, uh, you want to create financial freedom, you want to expand, you know, into as me through me consciousness, which is something I'm going to talk about that another episode, but you want to expand into this, like you become the work, you manifest effortlessly, uh, everything is a dance and not a hustle. So then that's your, then if that is you, then this work is for you. And yeah, I'd love to have you there. I wish you a wonderful day and a rest of the week, a wonderful week. And I shall see you very soon. All the links are below. I hope you're wonderful and I can't wait to see you next episode. Thank you for listening to Jenny Lyons' Visionary New Earth Leaders podcast. If you're ready to rewire your subconscious mind, clear your programming and collective conditioning, transform your trauma into trust and step into your soul's calling and true leadership. Or if you're ready to unlock your fullest potential through activating your light body and expand your consciousness exponentially, detangle and clear your past life karma and Akashic Records and setting up for success, launch your online spiritual business and so much more. Then go to Jenny Lyon dot love and if you're receiving value from the show i would love if you would share it with a friend and give it a five star review also you can join me in one of my live free trainings and you can find it right on the website as well as in the link in my bio across all social media i am jenny lyon across all platforms i wish you a blessed day and may you live your most authentic self